Hi, welcome to Beauty Lab at Home. You probably noticed that we're not actually in our studios right now. That's obviously because of the COVID-19 lockdown. So you're actually joining me in my slightly messy bedroom. So please don't judge. <laughs> So I have a bunch of different curling tongs, each different shapes and sizes, and I'm going to try them all out and see what they actually do to my hair. So today I'm going to be trying the Amica High Tide Deep Waver, and unlike a traditional curling tong, it's actually one of these clampy devices. So your hair goes under and over, and that's supposed to create like an S wave as opposed to a ringlet. Wish me luck! like it's really bulky and it's kind of confusing to see where you should be pulling it. I haven't actually used one of these since I was in like primary school. <laughs> Looks nice though so far. I'm gonna carry on. Reserve judgment till the end. This is the finished wave. I do think if you're looking for a waver, this is a really good option. I think one thing I would say is that it takes a lot longer to do your hair. <laughs> but with each piece of hair, you have to clamp it like three to four times, depending on the length of your hair. Obviously, if your hair is shorter, it'll be a lot quicker. So yeah, just make sure you've got a good 20 minutes on hand if you wanna try this out. I'm not sure if I would use this every day, but that is purely down to my past experiences school discos, hair crimpers, bad memories. <laughs> but that being said, I'm starting to like it more and more the more I look at it. So watch this space, I could change my mind in like an hour. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be trying the GHD Creative Curl Wand, which looks like this. It's got a tapered barrel. Um, so it's supposed to give quite a defined curl. Um, I'm interested to try it out and see if it actually looks any different to a regular shaped curling wand. So here's the wand. I switched it on a minute ago and it's already heated up. I'm just gonna take an inch wide piece of hair and wrap it around the barrel. You're supposed to hold it for about five to eight seconds. So let's give that a go. Here's my curl. So as you can see, it is quite a defined ringlet. I'm gonna wave the rest of this half of my hair and I'll check back in in a second. And so far, I'm really impressed with how easy this wand is to use. I'm really loving this so far. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna apply some hairspray. So I'm gonna soften that with hairbrush and just brush through. I really really like this curling tong. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I know it's expensive but I found it so simple to use. I didn't have any dodgy curls coming out. That's my verdict. Well done GHD. So today I'm going to be trying the Glamorizer Multi Wand. It's a three-in-one wand um, and it has three different heads and it has this kind of funky looking bubble wand uh, to give a beachy wave. So I'm gonna try this one out today because it just seems like the most exciting and the most weird looking. But yeah, I've got no idea what this is actually gonna do to my hair. So I'm gonna take a small inch wide section of my hair and give this a go. That's probably long enough. Wow. <laughs> actually, that's quite, that's quite nice. It's, it's almost a bit uneven, but I guess that's the whole point of this bubble wave is to give an individual wave each time. So I'm gonna keep going. This is the overall kind of textured wave. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side of my hair now, this section. Okay, so that's the final look. They're definitely a lot more natural looking than the really perfect polished ringlet that maybe I would normally go for. I'm not sure I would replace my GHD wand with this one yet because I think I do prefer the slightly more boring but slightly more classic wave and as much as I kind of like this slightly messier textured look um, I'm just not 100% sure I prefer it. So 
So today I'm testing the VO5 Wave Barrel Wand, which looks like this. It kind of looks like a regular curling tong actually, but when you look at it, you can see it's a bit squished. So it's a bit flatter on one side. It's supposed to give you natural textured waves, according to the box, with definition. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna start from the back as I always do, because that's just how I curl my hair. And let it drop. Ooh, that went perfectly. It's definitely looser than some of the others. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on curling my hair and see how these waves look. quite loose big curls and I think when I brush them out it's gonna go into quite a nice uniform wave. That is what I was hoping it would do. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this tongue. But for £25 for a basic curling tongue, I'm really happy with the finish. I think it looks lovely. I feel like it could easily rival one of the more expensive options. I think the only thing I would say, which I noticed straight away, <laughs> is that the the lead is actually quite short. I had to get an extension lead out, which is a bit of a faff. But I would definitely add this into my rotation if I want more of a loose wave. Yeah, I would buy this. Today I'm testing the Babyliss Curl Secret and I'm not gonna lie, it looks a bit intimidating. I mean, I've never seen a curling tool like this before. So please forgive if I'm a bit useless at first. I'm gonna stop procrastinating now and actually give this a go. I'm terrified. Okay, so I've got my deaf like machine. I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> okay, so the instructions say you lay your hair over this set this gap here, pull it through and then you close it, it sucks the hair up, you hold it there, you wait for four beeps and then when you hear a double beep, you let it go. So over, I'm gonna look in the mirror as well because I really don't wanna lose my hair. So I've got my hair in the clamp, I'm gonna close it now and it's gonna suck it up. Okay, two beeps so I can release the clamp and oh my god that was good i'm so relieved <laughs> okay i'm filled with a little bit more confidence now so i can do the rest of my hair hopefully not panic oh my god this is brilliant it actually hasn't taken ages it's probably taken about five to six minutes to do that top half. Yay! No major disasters. So I'm gonna brush it out and see how that looks. So this is the finished look and I would say I am a fan of the uh, Babyliss Curl Secret, which I did not expect. I think it's a flattering wave that suits most people. This side of my hair definitely took less time than this side once I'd got the hang of it. But I think it is just a case of persevering. But yeah, I, I really like the finished look and I guess that's the most important thing really, is liking the curl that it gives you. Thanks so much for watching Beauty Lab at Home. Make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know what you think we should try next. And don't forget to like and subscribe.